We have some new ways for students to defend themselves if and when there is an attack. We've got the self-defense moves that everybody should know. ASU is back in session for parents. It's tough when your kids are gone. Doesn't mean you stop worrying about them once they head out the door. Yeah, it can be tough, especially when you hear startling statistics like this. A yeah. recent nationwide study revealing that one in four females will be sexually assaulted during their four years of college. ABC 15's Katie Connor, she's taking action this morning to share some simple moves that could save a life. Again, Katie, those statistics are pretty startling. Yeah, and this training is great because it doesn't take months of training. In fact, it only takes a couple of classes from this unique Krav Maga studio. It's located just down the road from ASU's Tempe campus, and it's empowering women one punch at a time. It's that sound behind you, or the feeling someone is watching, that makes women feel vulnerable. But do you know if you could fight off an attacker? <laughs> Yvette Rios can. Because we're Krav Maga training, a fast, no frills way to defend herself. Yeah, Krav Maga was invented by the Israeli military, and in Israel, men and women have to serve in the military. So it was built from the ground up with women in mind. Using three real life scenarios, owner Derek Hofrichter is sharing moves that could save your life. First scenario, what if your attacker tries to choke you? As you can imagine, your attacker is going to be bigger and stronger than you are, so you don't want to try to outmuscle them. So when the choke comes on, you send an arm straight up in the air mm -hmm. to trap the wrist. So squeeze that in tight and then rotate your body across yeah, to break the grip on the. Second scenario, what if an attacker tries to grab your purse? Krav Maga teaches fight your instinct. You want to go with the pull, and you want to go with the pull, and you want to strike. So as I'm pulling in, she's moving in, and she's striking. The third scenario, if an attacker grabs you from behind. Derek says, remember, your voice is a weapon, but if he covers your mouth. So she's going to address that first by plucking at the hand. Then use your arm to strike. Like the groin. She could also stomp to the feet and the insoles. From there, she just needs to address vulnerable areas, turning in until she has enough freedom to give some strikes and give away. Another... Another great benefit of Krav Maga is that it's an amazing workout. In fact, a lot of Hollywood actors are required to do the training when they sign up for some role that has an action in an either a movie or a TV show. Danielle? Certainly some great takeaways, though. Thank you, Katie, for that.